Hey everyone, it's Gene again. So if you've followed our course thus far, you've probably watched a bunch of videos and I hope you've learned something. But now it's time to move forward. And before we do that, I want to take a few moments just to talk about some things that you can do that will help you create a little bit of efficiency in your work. Now the creative process is different for everyone, but there is one thing that I think we all share, and that is what I like to call the zone. Now when you get in the zone, this is a time when all of your skills, all of your training, and everything that's up here in your head seeking to come out, they're all firing on the same cylinder. I don't know what that means, but the bottom line is this. Everything's flowing. Everything's coming out. Nothing that you draw, nothing that you move around, nothing that you color correct, nothing that you design is wrong. It's all coming out really well, really quickly, and your endorphins are flowing, your adrenaline is flowing, you're having a great time because this is what creating is all about. Now there are other times where this isn't the case. Sometimes, a lot of people call it artist block or writer's block in the case of anyone who writes. These are the times where nothing is flowing. These are the times maybe you're staring at a blank piece of paper. Maybe you're drawing, but nothing comes out right. You're, you're drawing, you're trying to get some circles and they all come out as squares. Color correction isn't looking right. These are the times we want to avoid. So before we move on to our next section, and here we're going to be working on some very interesting projects and doing some practical application of some of the tools and menus and panels that we've just taught in this lesson. It's going to be a blast, but I want to delve into a little area where I think I can help keep us in the zone. Let me take a quick aside here. There was one time a couple of years back where I was designing a clothing line called Vengeance Gear. Maybe, I'm assuming none of you have ever seen it because it was basically an East Coast thing, only lasted for a little while. We had some extreme sports clothing. There were paintball shirts and we had ref jerseys. It was really cool. However, the reason that I'm relating this image to you is this. As I was drawing that, I got in the zone and I was so far into the zone at that time, I didn't want to leave it. This was a point in my life where I was illustrating and I was illustrating a lot for the first time since I left comic books. So I really enjoyed it because I love illustration. I literally stayed up for 78 hours in a row. I passed out my two roommates at the time, I woke up underneath my chair and I looked over. I had no idea how I got there. And they're just like, hey man, how you doing? And I was like, how did I even get here? We don't know, you just fell asleep. The point is that's how powerful the draw of the zone is. And I was so frightened that it would take me a while to get in the zone again, that I just kept going until I literally ran out of steam. So these next few beginner tips, I'm gonna share with you because there are a few things that I've learned over my 15 years of freelance they can help you not only get in the zone, but they can help you maximize your time so you're not fumbling around with Photoshop or any of the other tools that you use, and you can stay in the zone efficiently, spending all of your time creating. So with that in mind, let's go take a look at what I've got for you. 